One thing I really love about Google Sheets is the checkbox. If I open that sheet, I've got a to-do list here, a list of tasks. And so all I need to do is press each checkbox as soon as I've done it. Done, nice and easy. And I just, just a single press. That's really good just with your thumb. Really good when you're on the fly. The problem is that when you create a Google Sheet on the mobile app, you can't create a checkbox. But don't worry, it's really easy. You can open a Google Sheet on the desktop, set those checkboxes, and then you can open that Google Sheet from your mobile app. Let me show you. So log into a browser and type in sheet.new. That's automatically going to open a Google Sheet. Make sure that you're logged in as the person in your Google account that you want. Give the sheet a name. And then we'll give it a heading and done. So this one is going to have the tasks and this one is going to have the checkbox. So highlight where you want the checkboxes and we go into data. Data validation, and here the criteria is checkbox. That's it. And now you can type in your task, and you can add those in Google Sheets from the desktop, but you can also open the same document from your mobile app. So you can download Google Sheets from the App Store for the iPhone, or from the Google Play Store if you're running Android. Go to Sheets and you can look at your recent documents here and if you want i can see my most recent one last opened by me remember you've got to be logged in using the same google account that you used on your desktop i'm actually going to click this click on on those three dots on the right there and make this add to start so this is going to appear on my start list if i click on the hamburger menu on the top left there I get to go straight to the starred documents and there it is. It's always going to be there in the list unless I take it off there. So I click on to-do list for today and there we are. I've got my three things done and I can add some more. Now the great thing here is that any changes that I have made if I'm online on my Google Sheet in my mobile doc are going to appear in the Google Sheet when the same Google Sheet when I open it uh, on my desktop. Let's just verify that. Go into start. And there we are. All updated here as well.